Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about using the correct slope for your handwriting. Here are some examples that might show you what I mean. The one on the left shows that each of the vertical lines are heading off in a different direction. The one on the right is much better because all of the vertical lines are parallel. Check your posture, page and grip to get the best results today. Here we've got some horizontal blue lines with a slope card underneath them. And this is going to help me keep my letters all using the same slope. Today I'm going to practice using letters that have a downstroke. I'm going to start with the letter U. The letter U is a body letter that has two down strokes. You can see the first now, loops back up to finish the second. Now if you're just getting started with your handwriting, you might choose to finish with a straight edge. Or if you're getting ready to do your cursive or running writing, you might like to add in your exit flick. Watch and see how the letter U doesn't have a curved bottom, more like an almost point. So it's not too round like this, and it's not like a V either, somewhere in the middle. Try a, a row of the letter U yourself. The next letter I'm going to try is a tall letter, the letter D. It has a similar shape at the bottom to the U and one vertical line. You'll notice that my pen traces over the downstroke. I'm being really careful not to let this happen. You might save that for some fancy headings or something another time. When I'm practicing my handwriting, I want it to be really smooth. Same as before, you can choose to finish or you can choose to add your exit flick. Press pause now and try a row yourself. The next letter today has three vertical lines. It's the letter M. Straight down and an arch, down and an arch to finish with a flick if you like. Notice that I'm trying hard not to make the top of my M really round like this. I want it to be more of a pointy arch, a little bit like the bottom of my letter U. Remembering to really use that slope card each time to keep your slope consistent. Press pause and try a row yourself. When you're ready, you can use that same shape to do a tall letter, the letter H. Starting with a downstroke, arching over to finish off. And again, you can finish straight down or with an exit flick. When you're ready, have a go. And to finish off our practice today, another tall letter, the letter K. Letter K just has just one vertical line, a loop and a kick. I'm going to be nice and careful not to make that loop too round. I might start to look like the letter R. Just a small loop and a kick at the bottom.
Have a go when you're ready. Once you've finished, I want you to have a look back over your handwriting and I want you to circle, perhaps in a different colour, the ones that you think are your best efforts today. Might be more than one. Or maybe you need to have another go at a row to get one that you're happy with. Next, have a go at some sentences. Remember once you're done to look out for your best words and circle or underline those that you think have used the best slope. If you still have some time left, you might like to try some sentences of your own. <laughs> 